Okay, we want to find the volume of the solid formed by rotating about the y-axis now. The curve y equals x squared and y equals square root of x. And so we're going to take this region here and rotate it around the y-axis this time. And we're going to go ahead and slice vertically here, even though we could, if we really wanted to, we could change the problem to be a horizontal slice and use uh, washers again. We're going to go ahead and try a different technique here and take this uh, small slice, a vertical slice, and rotate it horizontally. And to get an idea what happens here, there's our curves, there's our slice, and if we start revolving it, notice we get a different shape than we did before. Before we got a flat washer, here we're getting sort of a thin shell. Uh, and so this is called shells or cylindrical shell method. If we take a whole bunch of these shells now and uh, a whole bunch of slices and revolve them all, you'll see how those little cylindrical shells sort of stack up to form the volume, right? And then uh, in the limit, it would give the actual volume of the, of the solid. Okay, so let's see if we can figure out how to set this one up. So given an x value here, we know that this y value is x squared, and this y value is square root of x, corresponding to those two functions. And so the height here is uh, top function minus bottom function, so root x minus x squared. And when we rotate this, we're going to get that shell, right? That's that vertical cylinder with just a tiny bit of thickness to it. So we need the volume of this shell. So it has a radius on the inside and some height here. And if you imagine unrolling this, so sort of slicing it along the side and rolling it out into a nice flat slab, well, more or less flat slab, then the height h should be here, and this length would correspond to the circumference of the, of the, uh, sh of the shell here. And the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. And so the volume of this shell will be 2 pi r times the height, h, times this little bit of thickness here, which, again, corresponds to this thickness here, is our dx. So in this particular case, 2 pi, so what is the radius of our shell? So the radius of our shell here, if we go back to here and imagine rotating this around, the radius is going to be this distance here. That's just x, right? That's the distance out to there, so 2 pi x. What's the height of the shell? Well, this gives us the height of the shell, root x minus x squared, and then our little bit of thickness, dx. So the volume of the whole solid, then, we can get by integrating 2 pi x root x minus x squared dx from here, which is at 0, to this intersection, which is at 1. Okay, and there's the volume of this solid rotated around the, uh, this region rotated around the y-axis.